Like today, Fabulous Fish and the gang meet Sensei Josh. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go in here. Oh! Okay, I was supposed to get here. Mm hmm. I guess that's where the next episode's gonna start. Yeah, after this. Actually, I think you should start with the cutscene. Okay. So we should probably cut this audio out. <laughs> nah. We'll leave it in. Oh, yeah, I love how it's just like that creepy pedophile hand reached out of the book. It's like, oh, I got you! <laughs> grabs the ghost, ghost by the crotch and just pulls it in. <laughs> like that book just gobbled up the ghost like it Shaggy looks really like happy that for us. Shaggy just gobbled up the ghost. <laughs> He looks really happy for a guy he just saw a ghost get molested. <laughs> yeah. And then pulled into a book. Oh, did they teleport me all the way back? God damn it, I wanted to go in that other door at the end of the other hallway. Fuck, I want to go in that doorway, though. So we got the main item of the game that okay, we're not allowed to use yet. <laughs> yeah. But it does give us this, which... Does nothing it is we can use. <laughs> I like that it's just <laughs> it's just here for no reason. Yeah, and you have no reason to come back in this room, so <laughs> why'd they put that there? <laughs> Solely to be confusing, I think. Yep. You know what well, I'm gonna be got... a I'm gonna be a daredevil, right. I'm gonna play this game with the D-pad. <laughs> How did she get here? Shaggy? Scooby? <laughs> is that you? I can't see anything. I'm acting right now. Who else now? would it be? <laughs> Rather strange looking ghost when I tripped over a book and lost them. Can you help me find What book does she trip over? There's no <laughs> books on the floor in here. Fine, Velma. Well, I don't believe you uh, in your lies. I like how I think I heard somewhere that the I I lost I need to find my glasses line actually came because the original voice actress actually lost her glasses. <laughs> yeah, recording. I think you said that. Yeah. Oh, gotta get up there, which I can't do with the costume on. Yeah, that's that's a dumb thing, is if you get the costume and you have to go up. You can't. You just have to wait line. for it to run out. Yeah. I'll submerge with Scooby. See? I'm... Give me that. Lucky for you, I'm a dog lover. <laughs> I feel like half those also just me quoting Skooks. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna merge with Velma now. Kinky. <laughs> Alrighty, where are you, Velma? There you are. Give me your... <laughs> like, like... <laughs> Just let me eat your. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Sacrifice to the Dark Lord. Sacrifice to the evil book of skeletons. <laughs> God, Scooby's teeth look really creepy. He has like human teeth. That's so weird. <laughs> That's a really big book. <laughs> she just opens it to a page that tells her exactly what she needs to know. Yeah. Oh, look, they put the table of contents and the index right in the middle of the book. <laughs> So this is the uh, Tome of Doom, which yep, um, the main item of this game allows you to suck up ghosts with this Illuminati yep. eyeball in there. <laughs> See that? Yeah. You can't tell me it's not proof that that this book is part of the Illuminati. I do really like the whole page mechanic. Yeah, yeah. You can't actually suck really up a ghost until you found their page. Yeah, which is really cool. And I didn't know that at all when I first tried Let's Playing this game. I really wish you could like view the page for each enemy. Yeah, That'd honestly, be great. and it's like a bio. Why didn't they do that? Why didn't the enemy designs of this game have like more influence from the show? Like that's clearly the green ghost, but like yeah. the other two ghosts, common ghost enemies, don't look anything like anything on the show. Mm -hmm. That's something Night of One Under Frights did really well. This was like all guys from the show, and the coolest part about that game was the gallery where you could see all the yeah. ghosts. That was like the best part about that game, and that's not here. But you clearly have an opportunity to do that because you have pages of the ghosts that. You well, honestly, they should have, like, replaced all the generic ghosts with ghosts from the show. God, Scooby's face there looked terrifying. Yeah. That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> okay, um, uh, how so do I actually use... The main use combat of this game is how do I very use the similar. Book? What button do I uh, push? Uh, X. It's X. Okay. So this is actually really so, cool. You just yeah, mash you the button. Yeah, you suck up ghosts and mash the button. So I think we both agree that this game is a mix between Luigi's Mansion and Night of 100 Frights, but... The bad qualities of both. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it is. <laughs> the worst of the both. It's not a bad game, though. Yeah, I still like this game. It's, it's just, like, the worst of both of those games is still pretty good. <laughs> it's just an okay game, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. 
I enjoy it, but it's like once I'm done this level, I'm never going to touch it again, you know? Yeah. Okay, I want to see what's in that other door. I couldn't go. I'm up definitely before. glad I played through it though, because it it feel like well, because it was one of those games as a child that I never completed. Well, yeah, the catharsis. God damn it! I even saw that one. I felt the same way with Super Mario Sunshine when I finally beat that. I was like, yes. Oh, see, I beat that about two months after I started playing it. <laughs> ha! Mayo. Mayo. Nice. I wanted that. Okay, now I gotta go back to the start, right? Yeah. I believe. Ooh. <laughs> Something <Scrooby> I... snacks. <laughs> Ruby snack. Something I did wish they did in... I used did twice. Uh, something I wish they did in this game was you had the ghost enemies that you sucked up. Ooh, Shadow Page. I like how that's just there, even though it wasn't there yeah. before. They were probably trying to make it like a whole optional thing, but kind of failed. <laughs> yeah, really? Um, and then they were like trying to sneak the shadow figures into each chapter, but they forgot to do it after chapter th two. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> just kind of got lazy with it. Um. But I wish there were the ghost enemies that you suck up, right? And then there are normal enemies like in Night of Wonder Frights that you could like jump on and stuff. Yeah, honestly, not to mix it this, up. Not making this game have any platforming in it was kind of a dumb idea, I think. Yeah. And not that every kid's game needs to be a platformer. It's just I feel like Scooby Doo's cartoony style physics work very well with platforming. Mm -hmm. Especially since Scooby's a dog. <laughs> oh, uh. You wanted to tell me something today, because you just saw uh, a movie. Oh yeah, The Sixth Sense. <laughs> yeah, which, I hate that movie. I think I liked it, but I didn't think it, because if you ask anyone what they think, they're like, that's a fantastic movie. I'll, I'll say I this. I thought it was really good, but it was not fantastic. I think the only good Shyamalan was Unbreakable. That one was fun. Unbreakable. That's what I'm going to watch next. But then, like, I felt like Sixth Sense had most of the same problems as Shyamalan's other work. Like, I felt yeah. like... Yeah. I felt like the plot twists were just kind of there and didn't really add anything to the movie. Uh -huh. I feel like it was actually inconsistent if you go back and watch other scenes. Like, my yeah. favorite scene to criticize in Sixth Sense. I'm just gonna spoil the plot twist uh, right here, so skip ahead like 10 seconds if you don't Spoilers. know it. Spoilers! But the main character's Bruce dead. Bruce Willis is a ghost! Yeah, the main character's dead the whole time. And it's like, I really like the twist, but it has a lot of plot holes. <laughs> like, my favorite scene to criticize is the scene where he's out to dinner with his wife, you know? Yeah. And it's like, okay. There's supposed to be a subtle clue there that he's not really there because the waiter doesn't give him a menu. But let's uh -huh. let the scene play out. Don't you think when his wife gets her food and he hasn't even had his order taken yet, he'd be like, hey, dude, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. There, there, so, like, that doesn't it's add It's weird up. because with the twists, there are a lot of cool details, but at the same time, there are a lot of holes because, like, if you in the restaurant scene, he sits in the chair and the chair doesn't move, which is really cool. But also, like, wouldn't Bruce Willis be like, wait a second, I got shot and I didn't go to a hospital. And no one in the world has said anything to me this entire time since I got shot, except well, this little boy. Let me and ask my wife else. has said nothing. <laughs> okay, so he like I'm assuming he gets dressed every day, right? Yeah. Does and that mean yeah. <laughs> Does that mean he goes through his drawers and takes out the clothes and puts them on? At what point I do guess, the clothes become I invisible? I think the movie would have been a lot better if you didn't see the dead people. Yes, like, like that would be a that was a big problem because it would have been so much more effective. If it was the kid describing it. Yeah, so, like so really like, vividly. So like like w what happens if he's getting dressed in the morning? Does his yeah. wife see the clothes <laughs> floating and then disappear uh -huh. when he puts them on all the way? And um, I think the I think the wait, little wait. kid was a good actor, but he didn't because in all Shyamalan movies the kids don't act like kids. Yeah, and that kid didn't either. <laughs> yeah, like it was a good performance. Like, he was a good- that's like one of the best child actors, but at the same time, that's not what a kid talks like. like yeah, it was just, I know it was what it's like ready. to be a scared kid, and you're afraid of everything. No kid, like, that scene in the classroom where he's, like, yelling at his teacher. Like, yeah. a really scared little insecure kid would never, like, yell at a teacher. No, I, I it's because it's cause Shamon's a really bad writer. And I gotta say, okay, yeah. even if you like the plot twist, you have to admit, what does it add to the movie? Yeah, that's a good point. It adds nothing. It's- like, I, I think it's an excellent twist. But it, the whole movie would have been fine without it. Yeah, like, like a good plot twist would change the way you view the whole movie, you know? I like, think uh, the best part about the movie is Bruce Willis. His character yeah. is great. He, he, I love Bruce Willis. He's such a good actor, and when him and Cole are on screen, it's so good. So, so like, I'll say, I think Sixth Sense was probably Shyamalan's second best movie, but I still don't think it was that good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do. I will stand by, I think Unbreakable is his only good movie, and I've seen all his movies uh -huh. except for The Visit. I'm going to watch Unbreakable next. I love that, Samuel Jackson and Bruce Willis. So. That one is, again, it has problems, but it was, I found it yeah. enjoyable still, whereas, like, mm. Signs Onward is just unwatchable garbage. Signs is horrible. 
Science is horrible. Uh, my girlfriend and I watched them all because we love bad movies. We have. Oh look, bio this planet that is seventy-five percent our weakness. Let's go search it. <laughs> well, my favorite line is how they have trouble with pantry doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the kid is like, the kids are so dumb in his movies. <laughs> yeah. You need to record this so your children and grandchildren can watch this. Like what? <laughs> though, though, let's let's be fair. Now, the last Airbender is the worst one. Mm-hmm. I'd go as far as. Are you the, the Avatar seen. Ong? <laughs> My name is Ong. <laughs> Just that line is like this is clearly a bad movie. Okay. I was upset, out. so I ran away. Are you upset now? Not as much as I was. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> <laughs> Though, honestly, Sok Sok is a great comic relief character. Let's see what he adds to this film. What would happen if they took me? I would kill them all. <laughs> I, I mean, like, Avatar's not really the kind of story that can be a movie. It's a little too yeah, long for that. Yeah, because it's perfect on its own. Like, Avatar is the best, like, anything ever. The, the only episode <laughs> of that show I'd say is bad is The Great Divide. Great Divide, yep. <laughs> that one's bad. Actually, okay, my girlfriend has never seen The Great Divide. Just skipped it. <laughs> That's the only episode of Avatar she hasn't seen. It's the Great Divide. I love... Avatar is just so perfect. No, it is. It's uh, tied with Twilight Zone for my favorite TV show. Yeah, it's so good. And then they just ruined it. <laughs> like, the... Okay, at least the movie was bad where people realized it. The worst would have been if it was just, like, moderately bad. And yeah. it was like... One one movie I did see that's now my least favorite movie of all time. What? It's not the worst movie, but it's my least favorite movie. Batman vs. Superman. I hate it. Never saw it. Oh, uh, hold on. Actually, Horrible. I'm going to check the recording real quick, just make sure it's still going, okay? You may rant. Okay, Batman. You have Batman. Fucking Batman. The best superhero ever made. The most deep superhero that is, like, the best ever. And you introduce him his backstory in a super rushed S Man of Steel sequel that has like 30,000 plot points that make no sense and you just raise over his backstory and introduce him. Hey guys, we were looking Whatever. God, do you see Fred's face I have there? so much more to say. But <laughs> did you see Fred's face there? He was so happy. <laughs> Dude, Fred's face this whole thing. God, and Daffy looks stone cold dead. Well, that's because they were like, what were Daffy and Freddy doing together? This particular one is quite God, Morgan Velma looks Freeman. Velma looks really horny there. <laughs> she was staring at Morgan Freeman, who's all cross-eyed. Get busy living, or get busy dying. Now that's a great movie. <laughs> okay. All be. That one's fake. Oh, fake. <laughs> so, I honestly, I think I like the GBA version of this game better. Really, I I feel like it's more I did play the I did play the GB. Hey, I think I think I played it oh, as a kid. I don't know. What are it's very uh, Metroidvania esque. Hmm. Yeah. I love Metroidvania so, games. Receipts from a bookbinder shop. Oh no, the ghost! <laughs> it's a roast, Reggie. <laughs> oh, that was just gone. <laughs> uh. I mean, honestly, since they know it's not a real ghost, they can just have the cops wait outside the library. He'll eventually have to come out to eat. <laughs> like, they don't need to shoot him. <laughs> they don't need to catch him now. I love Shaggy. Uh, hey, Dude, Shaggy was my friend. Oh, he's gone. That sounded exactly like the clip in the opening cutscene of 900 Frights when he falls in the yeah. hole. Yeah, when he falls in the hole. So many memories, that's a great game. And then you can fall in the hole after him in the PS2 version, but not the GameCube version. Yep. Alright, so, second Scooby-Doo God, what question. is that terrifying, like, Gandalf <laughs> zombie in the corner there? Uh, is that supposed to be, um, the Geronimo? It kind of looks like him. Yeah, but with, like, Dumbledore's beard. <laughs> so... Scooby, do you question for this episode? Oh yeah. What is your favorite episode of the original Scooby Doo? Where are you? TV um, series? I haven't seen the original ep the original <laughs> series in in full. God, ten years. <laughs> oh, I've What's seen like it in the full. one that stands out to you the most? I don't remember, dude. Fuck if I know. 
I have a few. I um. I what like did the I say? Minor one. What did I say last time we had a recording session? Oh, I asked you a asked different that question. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna save that one for later. <laughs> okay. Um, I have, I have no idea, because the last time I saw that series at all, yeah, was probably 2004. Mm -hmm. I I like which is which. That's a good one. Hassle in the castle. That's the one where they go to the island. Yeah. So here you um, got to uh, get more wisps by touching yeah, the fake the ghost. Wisps. We're now playing Sonic Colors. <laughs> oh fuck. He oh. just hits you. Oh, 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 yeah. okay. So if you run out of health, you go into this like running mode. And if you get hit there, then it's game over. But if I'm not running around, I can take another hit, right? Yeah. So it's like Sonic with the rings, I guess. Yeah. As long as you don't get hit in like your downtime, you're fine. Mm -hmm. I was like the the second one, the one with the uh, scuba diver. There's a lot of good ones. I thought that was, was a really a good show. I thought that was the third one, the scuba diver. No, I think that was the second one. Yeah, I know. I know the first one's Black Knight. I know yeah, those are that's, also. That's a great one. Fuck. I know those are also like the only two that have like unique title cards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good Scooby Snacks. I need those. Yeah, and the nope. um, guy off. in the costume, oh, he drops wisps. Oh, get the Scooby Snack. I can't. <laughs> All these ghosts are every. I did not have this much trouble last time we tried this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's catch this ghost. Catch the B button. This honestly feels like fishing to me. I kind of like it though. Yeah, I, I like the combat. It needs some variety, but it's really good. Well, like I had to circle around them to not get hit. I think that's clever. Yeah, that's really fun. In, in my first attempt at let's this, I didn't like it because I didn't play the game well enough to actually understand the combat because I was kind of <laughs> like my first recording session was more than a year before my second recording session for that game. Oh uh, yeah, I uh, yeah. So like I totally forgot everything in between. I don't like you can't walk with the book open until after you grabbed a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's a little silly. Crazy ghost! Crazy ghost. It sounds oh, like, uh... Found, I didn't even realize you found Shaggy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I found Shaggy. Do you... What happens, so, yeah. if, you, what happens if you don't hmm? find Shaggy? I don't know, it's a good question. <laughs> Probably nothing. <laughs> Probably nothing changes. But yeah, the ghost guy drops the whips. Wisps. Yeah. I just remember in your LP of this, it started off, and you're in this segment, and you're Shaggy alone, and you're like, now this looks like Night of 100 Frights. I don't yeah, know I don't remember right. any- the only reason I remember that is because you said that our first attempt at recording this. I don't yep. remember <laughs> anything from that recording session. I don't remember anything I, I, play, honestly. I remember it more. I am a fan. I am like a fan but, who is now shit. in your series. The only thing I remember from this game is how much I hate the minecart segment in level 3. <laughs> and that one wasn't even uploaded. No, that was actually the last thing I recorded, and I quit the Let's Play after that. I'm like, fuck this game, I hate it. Not even the, um, the switches. How come, how come the ghosts are going after him? Didn't he summon them? I don't them? know. Because he has a costume, but, like, if you're going by logic of the game, if you have a costume, then... How, wait, where'd the ghosts go? I don't know. Daphne ate it. Shouldn't your magic book have gobbled him up? Beats me, Daphne. I think it's busted. I don't think so, Shaggy. I think this ghost didn't get sucked into the. What did that guy do? Really Why are they arresting him? What did he do? He just dressed up as a ghost. <laughs> he he thought it was Halloween and it's not. And that <laughs> that police officer and his twin who looks identical to him, they're like, nope, it's illegal. And, Go and, trick or treating. Look, it's not Halloween. It's the only other guy. The guy that was so obviously. The, like, suspicious one that I don't know if this is satire or not. <laughs> it's either satire or just really stupid writing. God, do you see that police officer's dead stare? <laughs> like, do you see that? Yeah. How dare you try to cosplay as Charlie Brown? <laughs> How dare you disturb my family vacation? <laughs> you must die! Mario! Okay. Uh, crucify me, but I actually like the voice acting of Mario Sunshine. I think it's perfect. Me too, it's great. It's I like, like Toad's Worst. Toad's Worst is like, that's how I picture him sounding. Yes, and it's like, Bowser's the only character in the game I don't like the acting for. I agree. He sounds too much like an anime villain. Yeah, because there's really not that much voice acting. Like, Bowser Jr. sounds like a whiny kid. Toad's Worst sounds like a little posh Toad. Peach the doesn't really say much. But. The Piantas are all- f God, Velma's face was terrifying. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. <laughs>
get busy living or get busy dead. We did a pretty good job of solving this mystery, don't you think? Thanks, yeah. With that Dimsdale is one creepy crawly. Did he just call him Dimsdale? But wait, there's a twist. <gasps> the FBI. It's Azula. <laughs> it does look like Azula, except really ugly. It's her Azula's... voice actor too. Is it really? Yeah. Great. I don't know how to pronounce. Great Delize. Yeah, Great Delize. She, she did, voices like, Daphne too. She voices like everyone in the world. Yeah, she voices like everyone. <laughs> She's awesome. Awesome. Every clue. Nice. So we are going to be 100 percenting this game, which means the one ingredient I missed will be going back for. Two ingredients yeah. I missed will be going back for. Oh. Good job. Assuming we can. Assuming this game doesn't seal you off. All Hopefully. right. Well, we'll see y'all next episode. Bye. Oh, no, we won't. I totally forgot about this. Yum. <laughs> Alright, we'll see y'all next episode. Bye, everyone.